Here we are, October 2023, six months later since the release of Dead Island 2. We are now gearing up for the first DLC, House, slated for release on November 2nd of 2023, actually in a few weeks from now. This new expansion aims to add in new story content, including a new location, at least three weapons, and also eight new skill cards too. House will have players exploring a billionaire secret techno death cult in the heart of Malibu, California. California. Holy shit, sign me up, all right? The first look at this expansion with screenshots and even some of the leaked gameplay out there actually looks super exciting. The screenshots show this warm, vibrant new California location while also presenting interiors that are super horrifying and look like the depths of hell. The leaked gameplay also confirms that a crossbow is being added into the game. Trophies and achievements also suggest that rituals are coming as well. And then there's also <laughs> a boss fight <laughs> with a pig. Oh, how I've missed you, Dead Island 2. My favorite zombie game from 2023 is back in action. The fact that this game even came out in the first place is spectacular. But yet here we are months later talking about the first DLC for this. That deserves a round of applause, okay? Add the sound effect in there, please. But honestly, one of the most exciting things that I'm looking forward to with this game, and I think many of you will too, is the leaked game mode. It was the neighborhood watch mode that may be coming into Dead Island 2. It's a traditional tower defense game mode where you need to defend a house from enemies and it progressively gets harder and harder. That right there is definitely an end game activity I am going to be dumping so many hours into. My god. But one thing I am currently dumping so many hours into right now is Dungeon Hunter 6. It's the new installment in the classic hack and slash franchise that is free to play on mobile. It offers up both intense PvE and PvP game modes, including real-time guild wards and raids for the ultimate multiplayer experience. For Dungeon Hunter, killing a boss is not the end. Every boss you defeat, not only do you get to loot them, but you can ride them, fly them, and summon up to three when you go ahead and engage in combat. Dungeon Hunter has upgraded and taken its 3D graphics to a whole new level with stunning skill animations and more for smoother mobile gameplay. And starting today, you can play Dungeon Hunter 6 for free on both Android and also iOS. By scanning this QR code, you can play today or using the link down below in the description. If you do so, you'll get a special starter pack worth $50 with 10 summoning scrolls, one SS are a lieutenant and an accessory pack. you can also enter into lucky spin events to win great prizes such as an iphone max or a playstation 5 and with all that said thank you so much to dungeon hunter for sponsoring this video let's get back to it now now dead island 2's neighborhood watch game mode let's chat okay insider gaming they went ahead and leaked out that this new experience will be coming into dead island 2 at some point in the future it's very much worth mentioning that insider gaming and tom henderson have a very good track record when it comes to all things Dead Island 2. He was the one echoing claims from long ago before this game was even re-announced that it was indeed coming. Tom and his sources did at that time also state that the intro of the game was going to take place in a crash plane and that's exactly what happened. So when it comes to his sources and his credibility, he is very much trustworthy. And because of that, I am leaning towards that this game mode is indeed true. It's not exactly clear whether or not this game mode is going to be part of the house expansion pack kind of ironic that the game mode where you have to defend the house may not be a part of the house dlc but i do digress the game mode will have three players tasked with preparing for a horde of zombies attacking your safe house the mode will cover five in day games so five levels increasing in difficulty over time level one will be much easier than level five as you would expect in a mode like this. Players will also be tasked with various objectives, and the rewards will range from being given new traps to new melee weapons, and also having the ability to remove one type of zombie from the horde. That's a little interesting one right there. The goal of the game mode is to be super hectic while also offering up content that will keep players revisiting for weeks and even months. You know what this reminds me of? Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Ops, and Garden Warfare. Arguably the best horde mode tower defense survival game mode you will ever experience and i will defend that to my death in garden ops it's a one to four player game mode where you have to defend a garden for 10 waves on wave 10 if you succeed you take the fortnite battle bus and you fly away on certain waves you had different enemies attacking 
foot soldiers were introduced on wave 2, engineers on wave 4, and they had difficulty options to this game mode. It was so intense, 15 year old me loved this. I can't believe I'm talking about Garden Warfare in 2023. Now imagine if in Dead Island 2 they took inspiration and it was somewhat similar to what was showcased here in Plants vs Zombies. Different enemies attacking on certain waves, a huge range of difficulty options too. It would be the perfect game mode for you and your buddies to play. There's nothing really like this in games like Dying Light 2 right now where a majority of the fan bases do cross over. There isn't really any end game content like this that is replayable in Dead Island 2. No new game plus or anything like that. The most that you have right now is replaying the story as a different slayer, which is meh. Dan Buster could add a lot of support for something like this and it could be a classic game mode that lives well beyond what it was originally intended to. Dan Buster wants this game and this franchise to stick around for years to come. I mean, a Dead Island 3 is probably already being being made right now, so modes like this where players can have goals, objectives, and have it be replayable is certainly a major plus to keep the conversation going. They could also introduce things like modifiers and mutations to keep the game mode fresh, really entertaining, and also engaging. <gasps> All right, you stay right there, buddy. Don't you move, okay? Heading back to a previous point regarding the story, players will be tasked with exploring a mysterious villa in Malibu, mainly going up against a cult that they believe they hold the key to humanity's survival. What I found particularly interesting is that in the description for this DLC on Xbox, it says, will you embrace the cult's vision and fight for their cause, the choice is yours in this first story expansion for Dead Island 2. Could this be hinting towards player choice in Dead Island 2? So help me God if they do. Sammy, what do you think? I've seen what other developers have done with player choice in other games, and for me, the illusion of choice is always super prevalent in there, am I right buddy? <laughs> if Dan Buster wanted to go ahead and try it out, sure, I'm open to it. In recent years, I've never seen developers really nail it, aside from like Baldur's Gate 3 and Detroit Become Human. So many other games just have that illusion of player choice, so I'm curious to see what it's gonna be like in here. There she goes. But now let's go ahead and shift focus to the leaked gameplay, okay? We will be getting a crossbow added into the game, another long range weapon that you can add into your arsenal. We'll also be getting the hog roaster that you can see on the gameplay on screen right now. And one weapon that we don't have gameplay for, it's called the Dead Islands. The description of that one reads, take the weight off your shoulder whilst you smash the undead enemies into oblivion. When it comes to the start of the DLC, it begins with the player's search Searching for a house in Malibu, holding up a picture, and then they slowly approach it to realize that they are completely alone. It's eerie, no one is around, the vibe is super weird, and of course, post-apocalyptic. You progress through the house and you can definitely tell that the owner comes from some sort of money, crazy statues, and just the overall setting and environment really reinforces that idea. You open up a door to a secret neighborhood, and holy shit, it's getting even weirder now. And then the leaked gameplay goes around exploring each of the houses, seeing cryptic messages on TVs, seeing zombies pop out of fireplaces. There are some other important sections of the leaked footage, but they are super graphic and super gory. I would love to show you, but YouTube will demonetize me almost immediately. The gameplay then goes on to explore the underground sections and also the basements. This is where the crossbow footage does come into play. It eventually leads our players into an environment that is like this forest movie set. On the left side over here, you can see these fake walls are built up to give the illusion that you're here when in reality you aren't. It's a very interesting setting to say the least because I'm still unsure on exactly what the point of this is. Like, yes, we are uncovering this mysterious villa, but what the hell is this billionaire and this cult hiding in here? After progressing a bit, we come across this diner, which is where we get our first look at the pig boss. And I do want to say, one thing that Dead Island 2 never misses on is its boss fights. I still remember that clown boss fight like it was yesterday, arguably one of my favorites in here. But then after that, the B-roll footage does come to an end. Overall, everything that I'm seeing in here, it looks pretty damn good so far. To see the continued support for this series after a successful reboot slash reintroduction gives me a lot of high hopes for the future. 
But and that, my friends, is everything that I have to say about the current state of Dead Island 2. This DLC will be available on November 2nd, so it's it's right around the corner. But out of everything that I've said in this video, what do you like the most? What do you dislike the most? And with all that said, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.